Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. After you've entered a parameter field into your report, you can preview the report to force the report to refresh its data and enter a parameter value for use. Once you have created the preview and set the value, simply switching between the design and preview tabs will not necessarily prompt you to re-enter a new parameter value. You can always force a refresh of the data by clicking the refresh button in the standard toolbar, or by simply choosing report and then refresh report data from the menu bar. And when you do this in a report that contains parameterized values used for the preview, Crystal Reports invokes a dialog box that asks if you wish to use the current parameter values or prompt for new parameter values. You would then select the desired option and click OK to continue. However, when you're initially entering a parameter value, or if you select to re-enter a parameter value when refreshing report data, you'll do that through the Enter Parameter Values dialog box. In this dialog box, you'll see the names of the report parameters listed in the parameter fields list at the top. You can click on a parameter listed to display its settings and the parameters prompt below the list. The last selected value for the parameter is displayed at the bottom of the dialog box. You can click the Reset button, which is available, to reset all parameter values back to their default settings if needed. Otherwise, all parameters will retain their last setting, and you only need to select and change the value of the parameters that you would like to change in order to display the data you need to see within the preview. So depending on the type of parameter you created, you enter the value or range of values to use for each parameter into the text boxes and or drop downs at the bottom of this dialog box. The value or values which you then specify are used by the parameter to select records, display the chosen value. So for example, if we wanted to pull everything for 2001 for our sales, we could select that from the list. You can also format fields or whatever else your parameter values do within a report. In this case, we're using them for record selection. So here we pick our start of range, our end of range, and whether or not we would like to include the value with the checkboxes to the right. Then we can click Add to add that as our parameter and click OK. Now we're seeing customer sales, but only for 2001. And if we just double click on one of these customers to zoom in and look at the order date in the detail, you can see that they're all 2001 orders. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.